Welcome to Design World's How to Calculate series, where you learn how to apply the most important equations for sizing, selecting, and comparing linear motion and motion control products. In this session, sponsored by Bison Gear, we'll learn how to calculate the required input power for a gear motor. The first step for sizing a gear motor is to determine the required output torque and speed. But once torque and speed are defined, you'll also want to know the required input power for the motor, particularly if the gear motor uses an AC induction motor where the power rating, which is typically given in horsepower, is used as a key factor in sizing. Before we look at how to calculate power, let's review the relationship between power and work. Work is defined as force applied over a distance. Mechanical power is the time rate at which work is done, so work divided by time. Mechanical power can also be written as force times distance divided by time. And since distance divided by time, d over t, equals velocity, power can be written as force times velocity. Electric motors produce torque, rather than force, through rotational motion rather than linear distance, so power is equal to torque multiplied by angular velocity. Note that angular velocity has units of radians per second. If speed is given in rotations per minute, or RPM, be sure to convert rotations per minute to radians per second. Although the SI unit of power is the watt, in discussions of motor power, the imperial unit of horsepower is often used. In the 1780s, James Watt and Matthew Bolton defined one horsepower as 33,000 foot-pounds per minute, which is 44,742 newton meters per minute. Converting this from newton meters per minute to newton meters per second gives us 746 newton meters per second, or 746 watts. Therefore, to convert power from watts to horsepower, divide the power in watts by 746. In gear motor applications, torque and speed are still often given in imperial units. In these cases, horsepower can be calculated directly with the use of a conversion factor. When torque is given in units of pound-feet and speed in RPM, horsepower equals torque times angular velocity divided by 5252, which is a conversion factor. And when torque is given in pound-inches and speed in RPM, Horsepower equals torque times angular velocity divided by the conversion factor of 63025. When sizing a gear motor, the choice of which equation to use for mechanical power depends on the units of torque and speed that are given in the application. However, when determining the input power required for the motor, the efficiency of the gear motor assembly at transmitting that power to the load must be taken into account. So regardless of which equation is used to calculate the required output power, the required input power at the motor is equal to the output power divided by the gear motor efficiency. It's important to note that efficiency can vary greatly depending on the motor, the type of gearing used, and the gear ratio. For example, gear motors that use high poi gearing can have efficiencies better than 90% while those that use worm gears can have efficiencies ranging from less than 40% up to about 80%. And even within a particular gear motor design, efficiency is also a function of operating speed and torque. For more information on gear motors and other motion control topics, visit motioncontroltips.com or designworldonline.com. Thanks for watching.